and abandoned. The streets of normally bustling Boston are devoid of people. No one at Fenway or at the bars and restaurants, no one along the river. And the mayor said today it may be this way for several more weeks right into the summer. Christina Rex hit the streets for reaction and found social distancing is bending Boston but not breaking it. Heart-shaped lights shine over a still quiet Boston. Rush hour on the Zakem Bridge doesn't exist. At the Garden, no Celtics games, just essential workers walking home from their shift. And at Fenway, instead of rowdy Sox fans lining the streets, players' statues wear protective masks, a sign of the times. One mayor, Marty Walsh, says isn't going away as soon as we might hope. You know, we're talking for at least the, the stay at home order is in place till May 4th. And I'm expecting probably uh, that'll be expanded because it's been expanded in other cities and states or other states around the country. We're probably in for another four or five, six weeks of, of what we're living with today. Mayor Walsh says Boston reopening depends upon the data that comes in each day. And so far, that data suggests the city might stay quiet well into the summer. I think I was the fifth person on my flight this morning. The stillness is staggering at Logan Airport. No travelers, static luggage carousels, and no flights on the board. Emily Brown flew in for a family emergency. I feel like it's definitely empty. Things are moving pretty quickly because there's nobody here. Outside, as the sun sets later and the weather gets warm, restaurant patios represent a socially distant spring. Anyone watching thinking that, you know, there's going to be a date in the future, whatever date that is, sometime in June or July and August, we're going to return back to the way it was uh, February 28th. Well, that's not, that's not going to happen, at least for the foreseeable future. We're, we're going to be living in a different normal here. In Boston, Christina Rex, WBZ News.